flames and smoke stretch into the sky over the town of Chaman in western Pakistan. Locals also grab hoses as they desperately attempt to douse the blaze, shutting down the busy border crossing for several hours. There was fighting going on between the Taliban and the Pakistani forces. A shell came from the Afghan side and the vehicle over there caught fire. Several people are wounded. We heard that some were also killed. This unexploded water fell from the Afghan side. I picked it up and removed the fuse. By the grace of Allah, we are ever ready to sacrifice our lives for our country. Pakistan's army says Afghan border forces indiscriminately opened fire using heavy weaponry such as mortars. Afghanistan alleges a demand by Pakistani forces that the building of a new check post on their side of the border stop sparked the clash. According to Kabul, the situation has since returned to normal. A mortar shell hit over there and killed five people and around 20 were wounded. We call on both governments to stop the shelling. This is a tribal area and many people live here. In a statement, Pakistan's Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif called the incident unprovoked and said it deserves the strongest condemnation. He warned his government would ensure such incidents are not repeated. It's the latest in a series of lethal incidents and attacks as tensions spike in the region. Last month, Chaman was closed down for a week after a deadly shooting. But as relations between the two nations sour, it's the people who pay the price. Andrew Nehoff, ABC News.